Since there is a discounted per student ticket price, the total cost will go up by the same amount for each additional student. A steady increase means the situation follows a linear model. Linear models always take the form dependent variable equals the rate of change times the independent variable plus the starting amount. When you have two values for each of the variables, you can determine the appropriate linear model using Excel or by hand. Here Mr. Atavale will show you the latter. Okay, so we've gotten sort of an idea of the number of students and the, and the price for two different uh, groups. And so we want to do this by hand. When you have two points or uh, one point and a slope, you actually can do this fairly easily by hand. So the formula to look at is y equals mx plus b in general. In this specific instance, we want to say that the cost is equal to the slope times n, number of students, plus the b, which you'll see in a minute how that fits in. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find the slope. And m, what we call the slope, is going to be the difference of the dependent variable values, in this case, the costs, divided by the independent variable uh, difference, the, the difference of the two numbers, which is, in this case, the number of students. So basically, we're taking the 180 divided by 165, 180 minus 165, and we divide it by the difference in the number of students, 27 minus 24, which gives us 15 in the numerator, 3 in the denominator, and we end up with $5 per student. Now that is only a piece of what we need to do. So the line with the same slope could be you know, way up on, uh, on a graph, or it could be way down. It depends on where the initial value is. And so we have to calculate that. That's the B here. We, um, we've now calculated the slope. And we have an equation here. C is therefore 5N plus B. So what do we, where do we get an N and a C? Well, you can actually use either of these two sets of information. Okay? Because whatever line that would connect these two points has to go through both those points by definition. So we can use the 27 students and the 180, or the 24 students and the 165. And I'm going to go ahead and use the first one, but you could just as easily use the second one. So take the value for C, which is 180. That equals 5 times 27 plus B. And you take this equation, and you solve for B. So now, I've multiplied the 5 times 27, and I get 135 plus b equals 180. So if you subtract 135 from both sides, you should end up with b is equal to 45. And if you put it all together, you'll get that, in general, the cost should equal 5 times the number of students plus 45. So what does that tell us about the initial value? Well, it tells us that when there are no students, that the uh, flat fee, if you will, is $45. So basically, you're paying $45 before any of the students are going. 